हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1184 एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज क्वांटम कम्युनिकेशन एंड दिस क्वांटम कम्युनिकेशन व्हाई आई हैव टेकन दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज हियर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दे डोंट हैव एनी बेसिक कंसेप्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटिंग and quantum computing and also uh, digital information and quantum information how they are going to carry so to make it very clear just i am going to discuss the basic concept so that the students can understand first thing is that what we are using today it is called digital and it has binary number and that binary number is 0 to 1 and it is called bit and the carrier of information is electron and that electron is according to uh, classical computing and information is having two binary position i can say like head and tail and head and tail means if suppose you take my hand this hand is one is upper and one is lower so it may be it is head it is tail so either it can be this or it can be this so if it is zero it is one so that's why it is binary number 0 to 1 and that 0 to 1 binary is called bit b i t and bit is just like a uh, block one of a house by adding lot of bit together we can make a house bit then byte then uh, megabyte terabyte like that gigabyte so that in thousands and thousands of byte when they combine together it is called gigabyte but one unit is that is binary 0 to 1 and where the position of electron is in two this uh, horizontal either head or tail which gives 0 uh, to one number where electron is in two position but in the case of uh quantum it is photon and here the concept of electron as a particle was given then einstein in 1905 and his theory is very famous he and de broglie another scientist from 1905 to 1930 it was the period of wave function physics particle and wave they mentioned that this electron can behave particle as well as a wave so in that condition where the electron is behaving as a particle and in what condition it is behaving as a wave so that is not in that stationary state it is particle but once it starts spinning so once it is like this or this it is zero or one so that is your digital classical computer means old system but once we are talking of quantum computer quantum is said photon is coming so what is difference in electron to carry the information and secondly photon to carry the information there is a big difference in this and why nowadays they are trying to have quantum information system and internet so that they can send the message and that message will not be hacked will not be manipulated because it will be corrupted cryptography will be there it will be just like lock and key in the case of once it is sent by electron 
is the carrier. It can be manipulated. It can be hacked. There is nothing like uh, cryptography or lock or key type of system. And in the case of computer that is using quantum means photon. So photon is actually bundled packet of energy. When we are talking of photon, photon is uh, energy, packet of energy. And when we are talking in physics, we call it quantum. And that quantum argument may call it as a light. So the photon, the property of photon is that photon is the bundle and packet of energy. It is not having mass. It is not having charge and its unit is gamma. That is called gamma rays, infrared, X-ray. There are the example of uh, photon. And now photon is the carrier of message and that is very very uh, latest I mean development and it will be very very fast and here electron means it can behave as a wave and particle but it has physical state means mass and also it carries negative charge once it is flowing through a wire it has multi-function electron everything on this earth today is all electronic is electron the carry of electricity carry of message and not only that all the behavior of all periodic table items is determined by electron electron so electron is i mean everything we can say on this earth its activity everything all the reaction and then bond uh, formation, electronic bond, transfer of electron, covalent bond, sharing of electron, coordinate bond, one-sided sharing of electron, uh, oxidative stress means uh, the free radical which is produced is having only one electron. If it wants to complete the octet, that's why it will damage the cell to get one electron. All the cells, they are all made up of atom. All the living and non-living matters, they are made up of atoms. And atoms, they have sub-particles, fundamental particles. They are electron, proton, and neutron. This is very clear picture of electron. But now, uh, once they have gone to photon, is another very interesting uh, topic for information how photon is going to carry the information. So here, let me first finish with electron. Electron is playing everywhere all the roles. And how the energy is coming? Actually, electron is moving around the nucleus in different energy level. The, the orbit which is closer to uh, nucleus, for example, if suppose this is nucleus and these are all orbit, electron is here and one electron is here. So the electron which is closer to nucleus is containing less energy. It is having more energy and it is having more energy and it is having less energy. So once it is having, if it is going from less energy to more energy, it is going to gain the energy. But when it is jumping, the electron, they are jumping from one orbit to other orbit, from higher to lower energy, there will be release of energy. And that release of energy from the atom by the jumping of electron, that is called photon. And this photon, what we are getting in the form of light, like sun. In sun, there is fusion. Two light atoms of hydrogen isotope. They are combining at certain temperature and once they are combining the huge amount of energy is released and that energy what we are receiving here on this earth is infrared. There are electromagnetic radiation but that is bundle of energy in the form of photon. 
so that photon is nowadays they are trying and they are they have suc succeeded to use photon as a uh, carrier of data in the form of information so that all devices what we have uh, a smartphone phone then uh, laptop so many computing devices they can receive the data in the form of uh, information but the problem with this uh, photon as a carrier is that it cannot go more than 1000 distance but recently Chinese and Russian with the help of satellite what reflection they put the sensor in their satellite and the reflection of that photon from there and it was sent back to the receiver and it covered 3800 kilometer so they have reached almost uh, the I mean what they did with the help of that um, that is called Mozi they have given the name Mozi uh, satellite so that was the surprise having very powerful sensors and that radiation of the photon from the earth uh, it, uh, it was radiated and it went there and uh, it, it carries the uh, data information and that was received again it was sent reflected back to the receiver and that was lost be before even within 1000 kilometer but this time from one city in uh, China was sent to other city in Moscow and they are successful that it is going up to roughly 4000 kilometer and this success is a big success in the sense that in future with the help of this photon quantum uh, information quantum computer and quantum technology of information uh, is going to scrape this type of uh, frequencies which is based on electron and where it can be hacked it can be manipulated and it can be diverted but in the case of photon that is quantum communication it is not possible that is the biggest advantage and secondly it is only on the basis of tangible intangiblement is a must coordination of all those so that one I can explain you in such a way that this one is having uh, that is called bit and in the case of quantum number that is called qubit qubit means it is uh, having multi direction so what multi direction is there in that case I, I showed you that electron is dancing uh, just only two position that is this I mean head and tail but it is horizontal but if it is like that it will, can be spinning like this very fast so once it is spinning I call it dancing so it has multi direction spinning so it is not having only two positions zero and one rather than many infinite so this is called quantum position because one and it has uh, if you observe it then you can see sometimes otherwise it is spinning multi-direction it is not only this and that it is like this and it is vibrating very fast in multi-direction so that is called your qubit and qubit means those particles of the quantum bundle when they are dancing they are coordinating with each other and that coordination is called entanglement because entanglement means one pair so one pair of bad dancing uh, particles even if they are separated far away they are linked together and with that entanglement the information will be going it's, of course it's not very easy I am just trying to make it simple so that students can understand so here I have given some very simple example of the classical computer or information and their numbering 
computing and the uh, that is quantum information or quantum computing. So in the case of uh, that is digital computer today what we are using there are eight numbers one zero one zero zero one zero one that is called eight bits it is called eight bit and eight bit it is just like one block eight bit is equal to one byte so if i am saying uh, one byte means it is eight bit and that eight bit that is used for all the alphabet a b c d e f like that and then if you have 1024 byte it will be equal to 1 kilobyte and then 1024 kilobyte is equal to 1 megabyte and then 1024 megabyte is equal to gigabyte so far we are very much familiar with megabyte and gigabyte and again 1024 uh, gigabyte is equal to that is one terabyte and this here in the case of electron which is responsible of information uh, carrier to carry the information that data in the form of uh, messaging reaching to other place that is in bits and bit is what I showed you that one is this and other one is this only two position. 0 and 1, 1 or 0, that is 0 and 1, that is called this, it is uh, given in number and that 0 and number basic unit that is called bits, that is used in our today digital, uh, I can say transfer of data or information and then you come to quantum information, that is also having that is called qubit. Qubit means, I have already showed you, there is no any fixed position. And once there is no any fixed position for that photon, whatever uh, tiny particles are there, they are moving. Very fast they are dancing, you can say they are dancing, just like two pairs are dancing. And when two pairs are uh, dancing together, they are entangled. That is called entanglement. This is very important thing to understand. Entanglement, two pairs, they are together. And once you are separating, even if you take to moon, they are entangled. One is affected, other one will uh, be also affected, will be knowing. So with that entanglement, in that quantum, the bundle of energy, the message is sent and that message cannot be hacked, cannot be destroyed, cannot be distorted because of the uh, entanglement and here. The first unit is called qubit and qubit is not in two position. It, it is, I can say, uh, exponential, many, no, uh, no any limit. So many positions are there because it is spinning in many directions, multi-direction. And that's why it is given like this, for example, if we have two qubit photon which is going to carry the information. So two will be having four uh, spinning position we cannot say because they are always moving, you cannot locate the position. So that one is one one zero zero one zero zero one. That is four. If suppose we have three qubit, three qubit will be having six. That is zero zero one 101, 111, 101, and then 000, and 001, and 6, like that, 2, 6, 12, 32, like that, that is called exponential growth is there in the case of qubit. So this is about the bit and qubit classical uh, digital information, and once it is taken by uh, photon, and that 53 qubit, if suppose anybody is saying that he is having 53 qubit, it is trillions and trillions of data information he can have because it will be having 2 to the power 53.
So here I have written in a very, uh, you can say, in two blocks or two paragraphs, one is for classical computer, digital computer, and other one is that is quantum uh, information, and that one is digital information. The first one is based on electron as a carrier of information, and in second case, the photon is based as a carrier of information. So the first one that is flow of electrons is responsible for data transfer. That is what we are using that is called digital information or digital uh, communication. And here the electron is responsible for data transfer and in computer or any electrical device through wire. In digital system data is represented by the presence of or absence of electrical signals. It is mainly based on electrical signals, either present or absent, which are carried by flow of electrons. The network of uh, interconnected computers and servers that communicate using electronic signals. All those servers, big, big uh, antennas are installed is only to carry the uh, signals, that is electronic signals. These electronic signals carry data in the form of digital information. That's why it is classical. Today classical means it is an old system and now we are going to enter in quantum information age. So that is electron is responsible, well electronic signal is there, that is the carrier of information and big big server is there in Vaiduguri everywhere you can see lot of uh, servers are there, they are installed to carry the uh, signals, electronic signals uh, and that is classical. When data gets sent over the internet, it is broken into smaller packets and which are translated into bits. That is, I have given the concept of bits. So in the form of, it is broken and it is pass in the form of bits and that bit how we are receiving in the form of number and it is changed into uh, different type of uh, images or playing or so many other type of write up is broken bit by bit that is called bit. Just like house one block is bit. The second one that is photon, photon it is information is based is carried by photon. And photon, I have already told you, lot of information in the beginning is the bundle of energy, electromagnetic radiation. And that radiation, what bundle of energy is released? It can be from sun, it can be from atom, and that is without mass, without charge, and its unit is gamma. And that's why it is called gamma rays. It is also called infrared. It is also called X rays, like that. So the photon is an elementary particle. And uh, that is an elementary particle of bundles of energy and that is known as quantum electromagnetic radiation such as light and uh, radio wave. And these uh, photons are massless and always move at the speed of light. We know light is faster than electricity. That is the main reason that's why but the scientists they have gone to photon because photon is having the speed of light and of course electron electronic light is i mean the speed is less than photon speed electricity that is why scientists have started photons instead of electrons today and that's why they have gone for photon means quantum and quantum information is coming that age is coming but of course, our this uh, internet uh, will be having its more specific work. That one will be used where there are some security problem or some other uh, very fast speed. All these things in military where uh, your data should not be stolen, it should not be hacked, it should not be manipulated. In that case, your quantum uh, information 
will be very very effective it will be cryptic Crypto cryptography will be there crypto means uh, key and lock and once there is key only uh, key can decode that coding of crypto that is quantum information uh, photons instead of electrons and to transmit data they rely on fiber optic uh, communication system quantum communication is rapidly increasing day by day and i have given one sentence here a single photon that is the biggest advantage of photon to carry the information or message a single photon can carry infinite information and that i showed you that uh, once it is in the form of quantum means multi direction in infinity is there there you can fix only one position plus minus zero one but once it is dancing and with other pair it is dancing so they are together they are coordinating with each other and they are intangible and this pair they are so much coordinated that if they are separated they i mean they are all those uh, roots will not be separated they will be intangible that is the beauty of uh, quantum information So with this I will stop, thank you very much for watching the lecture.